Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collection of my most used makeup products recently because I'm always testing out new products and trying out different things, but I do get in like ruts, so to speak, or kind of I just gravitate towards certain products that I find that I like and that I'm using and I just keep using them over and over again for like months at a time. So I kind of decided to pull together all of those products and review them for you. Most of them have already been reviewed many times, but I thought I would kind of pull them all together if you really want to know the stuff I'm reaching for on a daily basis. These are pretty much all of the things. And then stay tuned for the end of the video where I'll talk about a really fun giveaway that I'm doing. Uh, so first let's get started and then at the end I'll talk about all the giveaway details. First is a fragrance that I have, that has really surprised me this summer and it is the Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. And I, it surprised me because when I initially first smelled it, it's very beachy, like suntan lotion, coconut, beachy. I really wasn't sure if that was my style, but I would keep, I would spray it here and there and I would just keep smelling myself all day long. And I was like, oh, I love the way this smells. And then next thing I know, I've been like spraying it every day for like weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm like, Okay, clearly this is a favorite because now I'm down like almost two thirds of the way down. However, I do like to blend it with some fruitier fragrances. I have worn it alone, but I like it blended with a little hint of a fruitier fragrance because this is so coconutty, suntan lotion, musky like, and I like a little bit of sweetness in my fragrances. So, but I absolutely love that. It's more of a mist than a typical like fragrance or you know eau de parfum or something but still stays on quite well for most of the day all right a tool that i have been using i tend to rotate out my brushes my like foundation brushes and beauty blenders and all that sort of thing but recently i pulled this back out and it's just been non-stop i've been using it almost every day and it's the artist oval 8 brush and it just gives such a smooth perfect makeup application. And no matter what texture of makeup I'm using, the, I get no streak marks, I get no brush marks, and it just applies so evenly and smooth. And I find that I actually use less product when I'm using this brush because it spreads everything so nicely and evenly that I don't find myself having to dab back into the foundation as many times as normal. All right, next is a Tom Ford eyeshadow and it's the Cream Eyeshadow in Platinum talked about this one before. Absolutely love this shadow. It's a really nice kind of sheer taupey bronze. And I'm always on the fence about Tom Ford products. I, I think it's because his lipsticks were kind of the first introduction I had to his line and they're, they never really wowed me. I'm always at an okay level with them. Maybe I'll pick up a color, you know, or two if I like the actual color, but the formulas have never wowed me. So it always, has created like this hindrance for me, you know, wanting to buy any more of his products. That being said, when I, when I have gotten over that and I have tested out a few more products, I'm like, oh, some of them are really nice. This being one of them, it's one of the best cream eyeshadows that I've tried. Doesn't top my Charlotte Tilbury, but it is very, very close. Um, actually, why don't I go ahead and swatch it? Cause I was like, I have some like swatch. I was like swatching earlier on my arm and I have, stuff on my arm here. So let me go ahead and I'll swatch it for you so you can see what the color looks like. And it's just like a really nice, beautiful, sheer, taupey brown. And let me make sure I have my makeup wipes here. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is another liquid eyeshadow. It's cream liquid. Um, and it's the Wander Beauty in the shade Champagne. I have a, I think I have another color by Wander Beauty in like a cream liquid formula and it is just so beautiful. This one in particular is just like a real shimmery champagne color. Incredibly easy to just literally throw on with the wand, blend it out with your finger and that's it. Throw on mascara, bronze or lip gloss, you're out the door. That is how quick and fast it is. And I find that it does not crease. It'll last pretty much all day long. I haven't seen it decrease at all yet, which is really, even in the hot, hot weather. The Estee Lauder Sumptuous Volume, I've talked about this before. It's one of my best of beauty. 
It's like a Holy Real mascara. I was testing out other mascaras and just hating them. And I was like trying to test out different ones and I was like, I just, I need to go back to one that I just absolutely love to get my mascara mojo back. And that's why I pulled this one out and my mascara mojo is back because it's one of the best mascaras ever. It's not waterproof, it's the regular one, but such a good formula. The By Terry Ombre Black Star in Frozen Quartz. Talked about this before, worn it in a video. Clearly, this is the summer of the rose gold shades for me. The Ombre Black Stars are really creamy. They crease just a little, like very late in the day. But other than that, they are such a great texture for a cream eyeshadow. And this color in particular is just a really beautiful kind of rose gold but not too rose where it's like you have pink eye or something. It's like enough where it balances out and it's like a nice balance of gold and rose and like champagne. All right, lip wise, I've been loving the Louboutin Blue Relax and I'm wearing it today and this is the shade Akinena. And it's kind of a mixture between a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick, I think. I mean, these are technically, I think lip glosses but I definitely find them a lot thicker than a traditional lip gloss. I find them in between a lip gloss and a um, liquid lipstick. But I just love the color. I love the feel. I love how intensely pigmented it is and how like creamy and even it goes on. All right, I have a lot of lip colors that I've like, been loving and I'm like been reaching for. Another one is the new Gucci Sensuous Deep Matte Lipsticks. I'm already a huge Gucci fan, but this is in the shade Iconic Red. Oh my gosh, the most perfect red ever. I have it in their regular formulation, but I had to try it in the matte formula. This is probably in my top five favorite matte formulas of all times. That is how wonderful these are. So creamy, so smooth, not that drying, like nah, 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 cannot you know, need water constantly, need to touch up with lip balm constantly kind of matte lipsticks. This other matte lipstick, however, is a little bit more drying and, but I love the color and it is the Too Faced uh, Melted Matte. This one's called Lady Balls. And this shade is not for those who want to blend in. Yeah. This is a shade that will stand out from many paces away and it will last for days. Just know that when you try to remove this, you're going to need every cleansing oil and every heavy duty makeup remover you can to get this off, which is fine because it, it, it will last, especially if you're a makeup artist and you have a kit or whatever, it's a great product to have in there, but just know that you are going to be scrubbing to get that off. Regardless, that shade is just like a deeper classic red and it's so, so beautiful. Okay, let's talk about lip liners. I am not, I go back and forth between lip liner love. Sometimes I'm like all about the lip liner, sometimes I'm not. I'm back in the love camp right now. And this is the new Bare Minerals from their Gen Nude collection. This one's called Borderline. And this one is literal. it's almost identical to my lip color, which is why I really love it. And then Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I've just been reaching for it all the time. And it's what I'm wearing today underneath the Louboutin Lubelac. The Charlotte Tilbury is creamier, but the Bare Minerals one is such a great color. So that's why I keep reaching for it. The formulas are good. They're not the best lip liner formulas I've ever tried, but I like, I love the color of these. So that's why I just keep reaching for them over the past few weeks. All right, eyeshadows. The NARS Hardwire eyeshadows. First of all, Stud came out. This is Stud, right? Yeah, Stud came out with the Stephen Klein collection, and I fell in love with this color. It's like a, it's like a bronze. It's like a taupey bronze. But then they went ahead and stepped it up with Pygar, which is the same type of look but more silver. I have it on my eyes today. It is a bold, like shocking shimmer. So it is, it has a lot more, huh, it looks more yellow here next to my arm, but I find it looks more silver. It's hard to see, but I feel like it is more silver on the eyes, or at least it's reading more silver on my skin. Either way, I love the hard wire shadows. Do I love them as much as the dual intensity? 
I'm asking myself. I don't know. I thought about it, because I have a dual intensity here that I wanted to show you, and I don't know if I love it as much or more. That's a, that's a hard question that I asked myself. But I, I don't think I could pick, maybe, well, the dual intensity I find is not as shimmery. I mean, these two hardwire colors, they are, I mean, it, I, I mean, I find it fine to wear during the day because of the lifestyle that I have. But if I worked in a very like conservative environment, it probably isn't for every day where I think you can get away with the dual intensity. This is Rigel, R-I-G-E-L. I showed this in a video before and gorgeous rose gold. Clearly there's a theme for this summer. Like I said, the dual intensity I think is a little more wearable on a daily basis. So i um, not sure if I like it more than the hard wire, but I think it's just more wearable. All right, blush wise, I've just been, I've gone back to my Gucci blushes. I just, I mean, if you follow my blog, you know, I really love Gucci makeup. If I can open this, love, love, love Gucci makeup. I've been wearing these two a lot. Coral Flower, which is a little bit brighter peachy pink. And this one is Spring Rose, a little more neutral. And let me see if I can do a little swatch, even though these are swatched on my blog. This is the, um, the Spring Rose, very much more of a neutral tan. And then the Coral Flower is much of more of a punchy pop to the cheeks. Doesn't look like that. It, it's coming out very, very sheer on my arm, but when I put it on my skin, it is a very like punchy pop to my cheeks, which I really love. I just love the Gucci blushes because they have such a beautiful kind of uh, very finely milled texture. So it just kind of glides on and you can build it up so it doesn't, you don't have to worry about, you know, putting too much on initially. You can definitely build it up, but it really can uh, wear quite intensely on the cheeks. Not as intensely as some others, like a NARS blush, but it definitely, it's not like a little bit of nothing. It definitely is a little bit of something. Okay. This palette I have just loved. I have worn so much of this palette. It's a Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette, but the newer one. So it has a little bit of the darker shades. And I just think it's such a great kind of mix of colors. And these are totally my shades, the blush and the um, highlighter and the bronzer and all the eyeshadow shades. I just think it's great. The texture is, I would say the texture isn't like the most amazing texture I've ever tried. I just like the colors and how they all work well together and that it's in one palette. I don't know. I just tend to grab it in the morning and I have most of what I need in one palette, which I really like. Okay. Did I talk about that color already? No, no, I haven't. The Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Naked. Really, really beautiful peachy cream, like creamy peach nude shade. Very creamy texture, more full coverage. Not, you know, not the, my favorite lipstick texture of all times, but I just keep reaching for it because the, the color has really worked well for me this summer. I just really enjoy it, especially with like, excuse me, oh goodness, um, with any like rose gold looks that I'm doing, it looks really, really nice. Another palette that I have been loving is the Lorac Pro Palette 3. Just the colors are perfection. I love that there's a row of matte, there's a row of shimmer, it's two rows of perfect eye tone shades for me. Like I, I will say it's not the most universal eyeshadow palette. I definitely think that it skews more to the, there's more lighter shades in here. So I'm not, I definitely don't think that it's as universal as some of her palettes are, but for me, it has been a really great palette that I've loved using. I've gone back to the Tom Ford new dip. I did. I pulled it out again. It's, I've been enjoying it. I love the, the colors. I love the textures. This is the only Tom Ford eyeshadow quad that I have. Can you believe it? Uh, right. Is that true? I think. Watch me like find one in my collection and be like, oh, I proved myself wrong. But I think that's my only one. All right. Another, oh, a uh, complexion product. The Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher. I 
I have a lot of concealers and I'm always testing out new ones, but I pulled this out like a few weeks ago because I was like, oh, let me grab that one. And I, when I put it on, I was like, how did I forget how amazing this product is? This is in the shade number one. It is, gives some of the best coverage while still brightening and highlighting underneath the eyes. It's, it does magic that I would say 90% of my concealers cannot do. So, all right, the rest are lip products that I have been loving. Oh, wait, one bronzer, the La Mer bronzer. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome. It's everything I've ever wanted in a bronzer. It sold out online, so, but it still could be available at counter, but I had to bring it up because I've been using it nonstop. Oh, this, the Surat Beauty Prismatique Lipstick in Chi Chi. Oh my gosh. I was on a kick where this was in my purse. I kept it in my purse and I was wearing it every day. Like it just, it's this shimmery peach and I don't tend to like lip sticks that are shimmer, like, like a glittery shimmery lipstick. It feels a little bit you know, young and juvenile and, and it can look really like, I don't want frosted lipstick. No. He manages to make the most perfect shimmery frosted lipstick that does not look shimmery or frosted. It just makes your lips look luminous and full and beautiful. I have four of the colors from the Prismatique line, but I wear Chi Chi a lot though. I have though all the nude shades are really easy and wearable. And of course, let me talk about it for the Rodin Tough Tomato because it's just, oh. The, this is definitely gonna be my best of beauty for 2016. It's already secured a place because it's one of the best textures of lipsticks I've ever tried. That color is perfection. It's just, I can't wait for them to launch more colors. I don't know if they are, but if they are, I'm like first in line. And gone back to my Clinique nude pop. I know I'm like a broken record with this one, but it is such a beautiful lip color. And it has like a hint of shimmer that makes your lips just look a little bit kind of reflects the light and love it. And then of course I pulled out the other day and I was like, Oh, I forgot how much I loved it. Poppy pop from Clinique color pop. So it's the most beautiful poppy shade. Obviously not as intense as let's say the Tough Tomato, a little more sheer, but not sheer in the way that you're just gonna get like a little bit of color. It's a good amount of color. So just, just know that, but I love the texture. I love how well they wear. I love the color range. I just that whole color pop line, the lid pops, the cheek pops, the um, lip gloss pops, I love them all. So that's it. I didn't include foundations in here, um, because I wanted to do a separate video on some foundations that I'm loving this summer, but let's get to the giveaway info. So I thought it would be really fun. Every time you go into like a new season, especially fall, it's like a whole new fresh start. And it's always fun to kind of start new, pick up new makeup products and start a new look maybe. So I thought it would be really fun. This is the perfect time to get yourself uh, maybe some new products for fall. So I'm giving away a hundred dollar Sephora gift card to one subscriber and I wanted to do this video so maybe you have some ideas of things that you want to pick up or you have your own list of things that you want to pick up. So I thought it'd be a really fun way to kind of kick off the fall season and give back to you guys and thank you so much for following me and, and watching my videos and all that stuff. And I will link below how to enter the giveaway and if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.